I literally had to get on here to give y'all a life update because so had much so much stuff been going on y'all from my job basically just my job so y'all check this out oh yeah look at my eyebrows like for real look I got my eyebrows threaded this weekend and look what it did like she was I didn't feel the pain when she was doing it um she had me hold my arms and stuff a weird way that I never had to do and hold my eye a weird way and all that but she kept saying sorry as she was doing I was trying to figure out why are you apologizing you know because it didn't really hurt but I see now why she was apologizing. Like, it's real checked up. And, like, it start, just started scabbing yesterday. But anyway, y'all, uh, let me get a sip of my coffee right there. Mm. Good old Starbucks. In-home Starbucks. All right, y'all. So, fix myself first. Fix myself. So, y'all yeah, been dealing with so freaking much with this job. So, okay, let me start back from, okay, I told y'all about me saying what to the lady that um, hired me. Basically, it went, like I said, it went like a what, as in what, you know, or rolling my eyes. I was like, what? <laughs> Giggling, you know, because she got in front of me, sat at the table, her hands, you know, you sit at the table, put your hands on the table. Like, that's how she did. So, um, so I said, what? Giggly. And then she got mad. So, ever since then, she been acting funny towards me. I done told y'all this. So, today is Tuesday. Um, I think it's the 19th. Yeah. So, um, yesterday, she, um, Kept coming in the classroom or whatever because two of the kids had to take medicine. I'm not going to say why, whatever. So she came in there, gave them their medicine, blah, blah, blah. So took them out, gave them their medicine. So every time she came in there, I'm the only person where I was at in my area other than the kids. So she was like, looked at me like that. So I'm like, the first time I was looked around, Make sure, you know, when not out of the ordinary behind me or something. So, I'm like, okay. I don't understand why you give me that face. So, the second time, she did the same thing, y'all. And I'm sitting here like, what did I do to you? Like, are you mad because I really said what to you? And it wasn't even a bad way. I smiled and giggled with it and everything because you came just smiling at me. What was I supposed to say? Like, come on now. Because right now you trying me. You really trying me. So, I'm like, okay, I, I don't know what else to do at this point. So, basically, I guess she's cool with the teacher that I've been talking to her about, the lazy one, the one that come in with her high jeans all jacked up, whatever. That's what I put two two together. Because I, it seemed like when she took her lunch, her hour lunch, she came back in doing stuff like that, whatever. So, <clears throat> today, this teacher, I'm making bottles because I worked in the infant classroom. I'm making bottles. The teacher just sitting there, sitting there on the floor, not doing, just sitting there. Kids crying, just sitting there. And it's always one kid that holds on to her if the um, other teacher not in there. So, She's just sitting there not doing nothing. I'm making bottles. The other teacher changing diapers. Um, I'm making like three bottles. I had I was putting one in the warmer. I had the other one getting ready to put in put it in. I put it in the warmer. I didn't cut it on yet. And I looked over to the right side because basically you have to the other one, the, the warmer to the um milk thing, you just put the bottle in there and click the button, it's good. As long as it's water. And the other one, you have to take the thing, you have to put the water in to put it back in there. So I looked over to the side, to the right, and she was like, can you pass me a tissue? This is what she do all day since I've been there. 
just be lazy. So, I'm like, do I want to hand her this tissue? Or do I want her to get up? Because you're not feeding a child. When you're feeding a child, even if they know how to feed themselves, their bottle, you can't leave away from their child until they're done. So, she wasn't feeding the child nothing. Not of that. None of that. So, <clears throat> I'm like, let me be nice. Lex, be nice. Lex, be nice. That's what I was saying deep down. Because Petty Lex wants to come out and ignore you. And act like I ain't hear you. And let you get up. So, me still working on myself deep down. I pulled the good legs out. So, um, <clears throat> as I'm getting ready to move, stop doing what I'm doing. Because it's hungry, kids. Forget about the kids. Let me give you a tissue because you're being lazy bum on the floor. I'm getting ready to walk and get the tissue. <clears throat> oh, that don't have no water in it. Well, she's talking about the, the bottle warmer. The, that Lex came out. I turned around. I said, I know that. You asked for a tissue, so I'm getting you a tissue. And I turned back around, gave her the tissue, got the tissue, the Kleenex, and handed it to her. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Did it? No, you're not sorry. Because... I don't have four arms where I could do this and that and you too. Give you something too. Like, calm down. So, um, I'm like, whatever. Gave her the tissue, making the bottles, whatever, while she's sitting there. So, basically, the lead teacher was like, did you take your lunch yet? I'm like, no, I haven't. At this time, everybody in that room have took their lunch. It's about 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. Last I checked, I thought, like, after you at work six hours, you're supposed to have a lunch if you're working full-time. Okay. So, or break, you know. Mm. So, it was past that or whatever. I'm going up on it. So, I'm like, no, I haven't had it. She was like, I will call them for you, but I don't want to, you know, whatever. And I was like, it's fine. I didn't say nothing about a lunch. I didn't say not one zip. So, um, the other guy, which is basically, it's two people we go through before we talk to the director, it's, which is the lady who hired me, the one that started acting funny with me, and then it's the other guy. So, we talked to her first, then we talked to him. And if neither one of them available, we go to the last resort, which is director. So, <clears throat> um, he came in here, and she asked, us, um, am I going to get a lunch? She was looking like, he forgot about me. He was like, you ain't had no lunch yet, da-da-da. I was like, nope. You know, while I was feeding the kid, nope. Feeding the baby bottle, nope. So he's like, okay, I'm going to get somebody to relieve you. So he left out. Two minutes later, maybe a minute or two later, she coming in. She said something. The first time I couldn't hear what she said because it was kids crying, and I was still feeding the kid. So I was like, huh, ma'am, you know, still respectful. She was like, we didn't forget about your lunch. Okay. I, for First of all, I didn't say nothing about a lunch. The lead teacher asked about it. <clears throat> So, I'm like, whatever. You not already been about to make me snap all day between you and this other girl. So, as I'm getting ready to take my lunch a little bit after she left out, somebody came to relieve me. Okay, and uh, let me go back a little bit. So before I took my lunch, it was this other girl, this other teacher. She was in pain. Her back was hurt. And whatever. I'm not going to give all her personal business, but she was in pain. Her back was hurt. So I told her, they basically told us to fight it out who was going to take their lunch first. So I told her she can go being nice because she was in pain. You can't deal with kids being in pain. So I'm like, go ahead. You know. Okay. That was before... Maybe like five minutes before they told me to take my lunch. So, as I'm getting ready to leave out, we can't wear shoes in the classroom. We just wear our socks. So, as I'm leaving out, um, she way down the hall, whatever, whispering. And I couldn't hear what she was saying because she was so far away. All I heard was my name. And, and that's what the rest sounded like. She said my name loud. And then she started whispering. So, I'm like, huh? You know, I couldn't hear what she was saying. So I'm thinking she finna talk to me about, you know, 
about the situation or whatever because basically she told me i told her but it was going all the crazy stuff was going on in the classroom with the girl and she told me give her to november this is october when she told me this it's november what 19th now and she still ain't talking about it. she told me he's gonna talk about it at um uh, work meeting which we didn't um watch the kids that day it was just employees whatever she still didn't talk to me about it so um I'm thinking it's finna be that. She was like, can you take a shorter lunch? After everybody else took an hour now. Y'all let me know. Let me know if this sound crazy to you. She couldn't tell me why, nothing. I looked. And I'm waiting for her to explain why. Because everybody else took an hour lunch. So she was like, yeah, just take a shorter lunch. Can you do that for me? Being nice. After you just looked at me like, Okay, so I'm like, still waiting for her to explain why. When everybody else took a long lunch, out. So I'm like, I guess so, just like that. And I got ready to walk off. So not only are you looking at me crazy, you've been treating me differently for about a week or so now. You've been busting me out in front of the, the meeting. Because I ain't want, I'm shy. I didn't want to introduce myself or whatever. Why should I have to? We're not. I'm not a kid. I shouldn't have to introduce myself. We grown fucking people, right? Am I right or right? I don't have to introduce myself if I don't want to. So you basically, oh, you're flamboyant. Why you don't want to introduce yourself? You talk about so, and it's because I'm supposed to talk to you. So I'm just like, this don't make no sense, you know, like. It's like you treat me differently. So, I just decided to go a different route because I'm feeling like I'm dealing with so much, like, with this other girl that's lazy, don't do nothing, but want to give orders. Like, she's a lead teacher. She come to work, like, mm, her smell is horrible. Like, she ran 80 miles or something. For only $9 an hour. Like her smell is so bad. It make your head hurt. Your nose. Your nose burn. That's how bad it is. So. Do I want to. Like it's not worth $9 an hour. So I just decided to go a different route. I let them know. Whatever. And. As of right now. I've been having interviews. Like people. Calling me to set up interviews. So. When one door closed, y'all, the moral of the story, when one door closed, another one will open. And it might be way better with pay and everything. So, y'all don't have to deal with crap from jobs. You just really don't. Like, and I feel like I'm not going to deal with it. Because you either want me to snap and go off on you, or... <laughs> you want me to leave peacefully. And then not only that, they've been playing with my money. Like, the first time they paid me, they shorted me. The second time they paid me, they shorted me 300 and some dollars. And I went in and said something. They was like, huh, really? Uh, all this stuff didn't make sense, what the guy was saying. So basically, they gave me a check. So you, you've been playing my money. For one, your teacher playing with me. The lady who hired me playing with me. And you playing with my money. Okay, you'll get away with the other two. But my money, no, you're not getting away with it. I'm sorry. I work hard. Even the other teachers like, yeah, she work hard. She be, when the lead teacher come back in, they be like, oh, yeah, she be doing everything while she just sitting there. Da -da -da -da. Everybody see it. So, but you're not trying to address the issue like that. So, my thing is, like I said, y'all, but that's all I got to say. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get ready for this interview, my first interview or whatever. Y'all comment, like, subscribe, put those post notifications for your girl. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.